This Quran is the best gift you can give to any human being, irrespective of whether he's a Muslim or non-Muslim. Irrespective of whether the person you're giving the gift to is rich or poor. Whether it's a nikah or whether it's a housewarming ceremony. The best gift you can give, the most invaluable gift, is the copy of the glorious Quran. And if the person doesn't understand Arabic, give the translation of the glorious Quran in the language you understand the best. The best gift you can give to your child is the Quran. Many of us Muslims, we send our children to learn how to recite the Quran. Some of them may have the Quran, but very few non-Arabs. They make the children and they educate the children in the language of Arabic so that they can understand the Quran directly, very few. The best gift you can give to the child is gift of the Quran. Most of us, including myself, we were unfortunate that our parents did not think it important that we should learn Arabic as a language when we were children. Don't make that same mistake. See to it that you teach your children Arabic as a language. It is the best gift you can give to your children. It is the best degree you can give. Believe me, all the other degrees of colleges, universities, it may or may not help him in this world. In the Akhirah, if it does not get him closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is useless. But if you give the gift of the Quran, if you give the gift of the language of Arabic, inshallah, because our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that when a person dies, three things yet get him sawab jariya. One is what he has spent in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, the knowledge that is spread in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number three, pious children who pray for him. So the best gift you can give to your children is the gift of the Quran. It is a guide for his full life. And we should make it a habit that we read the Quran daily. Whichever time you feel is the best, let's daily have a family gathering, mother and father along with the children, and recite depending upon the time available, maybe two ruku, three ruku, Arabic along with the translation you understand the best. If every day you read the Quran with understanding, it will change your life. And also tell all the Muslim businessmen that make it compulsory for your employees to read the Quran daily. In Islamic Research Foundation, mashallah, we have more than 400 employees in all the organizations, alhamdulillah. It's compulsory every day when they come. The first thing when they swipe their card, or they put the thumb, thumbprint, you know, the new machines, thumbprint, and the attendance ship takes the attendance. Okay, this is so-and-so. He came to the office at 10 o'clock. The first thing he has to do is read at least for 15 minutes, at least one ruku, two ruku, of the Quran, along with the translation in the language you understand the best. Some people will think, 15 minutes every day? Six days a week, 12 months in a year, 400 employees. Calculate. Lakhs of rupees gone down the drain every month. Believe me, it will benefit you. When your employees, when they read the Quran, along with the translation, they will work better for you. They will learn honesty. They will come on the straight path. Irrespective of the employees, Muslim or non-Muslim, he will get his ayah. In our organization, it's compulsory that you should read the Quran along with translation every day. Compulsory. I request that all the businessmen here who have got businesses and employees, see to it that you implement it in your business place also. Inshallah, it will benefit you. And there are various different ways. You can read the Quran from first page to last page. See to it, you complete it. At times, you may want to read it via the index. You want to read what does the Quran speak about women? What does the Quran speak about heaven? What does the Quran speak about angels? 
topic-wise, or you open the Quran and read whatever comes, the various. But see to it that you daily read the Quran. And even regularly reading from cover to cover is very important. And since the talk is in English, there are, mashallah, more than 50 different English translations of the Quran. More than 50. And in our organization, we have more than 50 different languages in which the Quran has been translated. Much more than that, in our organization, we have more than 50 different languages.